Hello, hello, my good people, and thank you for joining this lesson. This is Temid Familia. In this video, we're going to revise the NEC School Based Assessment, Integrated Science, Grade 8. This is a very good paper for revision, and therefore, kindly stay up to the end so that you can learn the revise. The first question reads The picture shows a bottle containing medicine. You can see here we have the bottle. From the label on the bottle, identify two elements that are present in the medicine. So, two marks. So we want two elements. You can see we have some compounds, for example, calcium carbonate, this one is a compound, and even sodium bicarbonate is a compound. So we want elements. So for example, you can see here we have calcium. Calcium is one of the elements. So you can see the first one is calcium. We have another one, you can even see. You can see here we have sodium. You can see we have carbonate, so from the word carbon, you can even say we have carbon and so on. So you give any two and we'll score two marks. But B, write the chemical symbol of one of the elements identified in A above. So we're going to write the symbol for one of these elements we have named in A. For example, for calcium, the symbol is C, A capital C, small a. So we're going to say for calcium, maybe I use Roman 1, calcium it is C, A. And then what about sodium? Sodium is N, A, capital N, small a. What about carbon? Carbon is C. Then Roman 3, going to give C. So we give N, the one that you named in A, and you will score one mark. But C, one of the substances found in the medicine is calcium carbonate. Indicate by ticking in the table below whether calcium carbonate is an atom, a molecule, or a compound. So you can see we have two elements which are chemically uh, combined, and therefore we know that this is a compound, calcium and carbonate, and therefore we come and tick here. This is a compound. It is not an atom, not a molecule. It is a compound, and you score one mark. Number two. The picture below were taken by learners during a visual arts class. You can see we have rusted nail, learner one, broken bottle, learner two, stretched rubber band, learner three, and we have sharpened pencil, learner four. The integrated science teacher used the pictures to explain physical and chemical changes in substances. Part A, identify the learner whose picture was used to explain a chemical change. So which one do you think is the correct option? Is it learner one, learner two, learner three, or learner four? So from these pictures, the one who is correct is Lana 1. So Lana 1 is for chemical change. We are going to say it is Lana 1. Lana 1. And you score one mark. What is the reason? That is the next question. State two reasons for your answer in question 2, part A. So what, what is the reason why you have said it is Lana 1? So you can say this is rusted nail. So one of the reasons is we have a new substance is formed. So the reason is a new substance is formed. That's why it is a chemical change. A new substance is formed. A new substance is formed. Let me write well. New substance is formed. So the substance is ion 3 oxide, the rust, the chemical name, it is ion 3 oxide. So a new substance is formed. Another reason we want to, so the change is irreversible. So you cannot reverse this change. So we can say the change is irreversible. The change is irreversible. So these are the two reasons. The change is irreversible, you cannot reverse the rusting. And also, we have a new substance is formed, and the name is ion 3 oxide. So you give two, you get those two marks. We continue to number three. Classes of fire are categorized depending on the type of materials and fuel for burning. Learners identified some materials in the environment and grouped them into classes of fire as shown in the table below. You can see we have class A, and here we have class B. But A, identify what the learners considered in grouping the materials into two 
glasses. You can see here, here for glass A, you can see paper, wood, plastic, all these are solids. Class B, have paraffin, oil paint, petrol, all these are liquid. And therefore, we considered the type of material causing the fire. So, the type of material. So, we considered the type of the material. The type of the material we score one mark because you can see here uh, these are solids and then these are liquids. Part B. Give a reason why water will be suitable in controlling class A fire. So class A fire, fire caused by solids like paper, wood, plastic, you know that we use water. Why do we use water? You know that water reduces the heat or decreases the temperature. So we need to say water uh, removes or reduces. So water removes or you can say water reduces the heat. So it reduces the heat. That's why we use water for class A fire. So we get one mark. Part C, identify one way of putting off class B fire. So how do we put off fire caused by things like paraffin, oil paint, or petrol? You know that we do what we call smothering. That is, we cover by things like fire blanket, sand, even uh, branches of tree. So we can say by smothering, Smoothering is covering the fire. Covering the fire with fire blanket. We use fire blanket, uh, sand, and DTC. Covering the fire with fire blanket. Sand and so on. So that is one way which you can put class B fire. Continue to number four. A cell is a basic unit of life. Cells have components which can be seen under a light microscope. Name one component found in plant cell and not found in animal cell. So you want a component found in plant cell and not in animal cell. So you know that plant cells, they have a cell wall. So we can say one is cell wall. Cell wall. And also say another one is chloroplast. You know that plants make their own food, therefore they need chloroplast. What about animals? Animals don't make their own food. They feed on already manufactured food. So animals don't require chloroplast. So you can say another one is chloroplast. Chloroplast, you give any and you'll score one mark. Part B. In an investigation, it's to the total magnification of an image of a cell was found to be times 200, when the magnification of the objective lens of the microscope was times 20. Work out the magnification of the eyepiece lens of the microscope, two marks. So this is the formula, you know that total magnification, I'm going to use initials, but in the exam, make sure you're writing full. So total magnification, total magnification is given by eyepiece lens magnification multiplied by objective lens magnification. So the total is 200, so you need to say 200, is equals to here we have the eyepiece we don't have so you can call it a x multiplied by the objective lens is times 20 so x multiplied by 20. so to get x so this will be so a simple mathematics so 200 is equals to 20x 20 times x we get 20x we want to get x divided by 20 divided by 20 therefore you can see that x is equals to it is 10 so by 0, 0, by 2, 1, by 2, 10. So x is equal to 10. And therefore, the magnification, the eyepiece lens magnification, we need to say it is, don't forget to put this symbol, times 10. Then you score those two marks. We continue to number 5. Alana seated at the back of a classroom, applied a perfume. Soon after, the smell of the perfume had spread throughout the classroom. One of the learners said the smell had spread by the process of osmosis. Part A. Do you agree that the smell spread by the process of, osmo of, of osmosis? One mark. So he's asking whether you agree that the smell spread by the process of osmosis. So the answer is either yes or no. So you know that when you, uh, the, the spreading of a perfume is not osmosis and therefore going to say no. So the answer is no. So you get one mark. Part B. 
explain your answer in A above. So you know that osmosis involves water molecules and a semipermeable membrane. And here we don't have any water molecule or we don't have a semipermeable membrane. What about, uh, this is diffusion. So we're going to explain, so we're going to say osmosis involves, so osmosis, osmosis involves water molecules. That is uh, the movement of water molecules from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration. Osmosis involves water molecules and semipermeable membrane. Semipermeable membrane, which you don't have in the setup above. So you can say that one, which you don't have in the setup above. And also you can define what is diffusion and say the particles of perfumed move through diffusion. They move from a higher concentration to a region of low concentration. So you say any, we're going to score two marks. Number six, we continue. Sexually transmitted infections, STI, show different signs and symptoms in human beings. The chart below shows signs and symptoms of various STIs. Draw lines to link the signs and symptoms that are only specific to herbs. One line has been drawn for you. You can see here we have herbs. The symptom is swollen limp glands. You can see here we have three marks and therefore we're going to make three lines. We're going to draw three lines. The first one, we're going to draw for you. So we're going to say when you have herbs, you're going to have brushes on the face. So I'm going to match with this one. So we remain with the two. Which one is the correct uh, other symptoms. Is it blisters in the private part, vaginal discharge, vaginal discharge, itching in private parts, brown sores, painful urina urination. So which one do you think is the correct option? You can tell us in the comment section so that you can also learn. So tell us in the comment, comment section which one is the correct option. Number seven. The picture shows a tractor plowing a farm. The tractor has wide tires that help it move on the soil without getting stuck. The tractor goes up and down the hill to plow the whole farm. As it moves, energy changes from, from stored energy, potential energy, to moving energy, kinetic energy, and back again. But using tractors to plow farms in Kenya is not good for the environment. You can see here we have the tractor. Using the information on the picture, part A, use the following words to complete the sentence below. So we have pressure, area, force, and energy. The tires of the tractor are wide to increase dash so as to reduce dash with dash remaining constant. So we know that pressure is equals to force over area. When the area is larger, when the area is larger, because these two are inversely proportional. So when the area is big, the pressure becomes smaller. So you can see it has wide tire to increase the area. The tires of the tractor are wide to increase the area. So you're going to feel here to increase the area. So as to reduce, so when you increase the area, you reduce the pressure. With the dash remaining constant, so to rejibu pressure na area. So we remain with force or energy. So we know that force is constant. So the force does not change. So we're going to say with the force remaining constant, and you're going to score those three marks. Part B. Complete the table below to show the form of energy gained by the tractor as it moves up and down the hill on the farm. Movement of the tractor, form of energy gained by the tractor. So as the, as the tractor moves down the hill, you know that the speed will increase and therefore the form of energy gained is kinetic energy. Or it is kinetic energy. So as it moves down the hill, its speed increases and therefore the energy is kinetic energy. What about the structure moving up the hill? So when moving up the hill, it uses a lot of energy and therefore the form of energy gained is potential energy. Potential energy. So you give those two, you score two marks. But see, state a reason why the use of tractors in Kenya is not good for the environment. So why is it not good for the environment? We need to say the tractor releases fumes or smoke. The tractor releases fumes or smoke 
that pollute the environment, that is air, that pollute the environment. We can say that pollutes the air. So you, so you say that way, you get one mark. So you can see this is the last printed page. We are done with NXCBA. Thank you so much for following along. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe if you are new and share to your friends. See you in the next video. Have a good day.